It's Joe, and welcome back to Human Fluence. Imagine our entire universe with all its galaxies, stars, planets, and even the tiniest atoms as a hologram. Not the kind you see in the movies, but a more complex and mind-bending hologram where every piece of it contains the whole, and every bit of information in the universe is interconnected. This theory, called the holographic principle, was first proposed by physicists like Gerard Hooft and later developed by Leonard Susskind. It suggested that everything we experience is three-dimensional. Space, time, and even our own consciousness might actually be projected from a two-dimensional surface, like a film projecting a 3D image. The core idea here is that our 3D world is just a projection of information stored on a two-dimensional surface at the boundary of the universe. Picture it like a very advanced version of a video game. The screen is two-dimensional, but the characters and environment appear three-dimensional to us. The information for the entire game exists in that flat space on the screen. Yet it gives rise to an immense, immersive experience. In the same way, the holographic principle suggests that our entire universe, with its seemingly endless depth and complexity, might be encoded on a cosmic screen or boundary. How does this work in practice? First, we have information storage. Imagine a black hole. According to physicist Steve Hawking, information about all the objects falling into a black hole doesn't vanish but is stored at its surface. Similarly, the holographic principle proposes that everything in our universe is like that. All of our experiences, objects, and even space and time are stored in a way we can't perceive directly on this two-dimensional boundary. Secondly, we have implications for reality. So if reality is a hologram, what we think of as space might not be as real as we think. This doesn't mean that life is a simulation like in the Matrix, but it does mean that what we see as depth, distance, and even time could be encoded differently than we experience them. And third, why it matters? This theory could explain some mind-bending phenomena in quantum physics like entanglement, where particles seem to communicate faster than light over long distances. In a holographic universe, everything is connected at a fundamental level, so two particles could be interacting as if they're in the same space, even if they're galaxies apart. The holographic principle is helpful to physicists trying to unite two big theories, quantum mechanics, which deals with tiny particles, and general relativity, which deals with massive objects like stars and galaxies. These two theories don't quite align, but the holographic model could help bridge the gap by providing a way to understand how information and reality itself are structured at the most fundamental levels. Imagine a high-resolution photo. Every tiny pixel contributes to the whole image, and if you zoom in far enough, you'll find that each pixel contains information about the entire picture. In the same way, each pixel in the holographic universe might contain information about the whole, meaning that even the smallest part of reality is somehow connected to the entire cosmos. In essence, the holographic theory reshapes our view of reality. It suggests that we're part of an interconnected, information-rich universe where everything is stored on a cosmic scale. And while this might sound abstract, it has the potential to revolutionize how we understand everything, from the building blocks of matter to the mysteries of consciousness. Now, as we segue into a deeper analysis of the holographic theory and its implications, it's essential to consider the ways this scientific framework overlaps with religious and mystical concepts, particularly those related to consciousness, unity, and the nature of reality. Interestingly, documents released by the CIA in 2003, often referred to as the Gateway Process documents, explore similar ideas proposing that our perception of reality could be a projection 
tying closely to ideas found in both the holographic theory and several spiritual traditions. The CIA's gateway process analysis was part of a broader investigation into the potential applications of altered states of consciousness and remote viewing, with a heavy emphasis on quantum physics and consciousness theories. According to the declassified document, reality might be much more interconnected and holographic than previously thought, aligning with the idea that our experience of physical reality is just a projection of a larger unseen layer an idea that not only resembles the holographic theory, but also brings to mind religious ideas of the veil of illusion found in Hinduism, Maya, and Buddhist concepts of samsara. Many spiritual traditions have long suggested that the physical world is not the ultimate reality. Hindu and Buddhist texts, for instance, describe this world as a place of illusion or temporary experience. In Christianity, there's the idea that the material world is just a shadow of God's true creation, with heaven as the ultimate, truest reality. Similarly, Kabbalistic mysticism and Judaism sees the physical world as one of many layers, with the higher hidden layers containing more profound truths. The holographic theory ties into these ideas by suggesting that what we perceive as reality is not all there is. It's a complex projection of a deeper level of information, for instance, in the CIA's document, consciousness and material reality are described as deeply interwoven, so much so that the boundaries between them become blurred. Resonating with mystical experiences in which people feel a sense of oneness with everything, a feeling often described in religious experiences as connecting with a higher power or the universe itself. Understanding the holographic theory in this way allows us to bridge the gap between scientific and religious frameworks. The theory suggests that consciousness is not a byproduct of the brain, but rather a fundamental part of reality, distributed across the holographic structure of the universe. In many religious contexts, consciousness, or the soul, is seen as eternal and connected to a divine source. The holographic theory backed by quantum physics aligns well with these views by hinting that consciousness might be the foundation upon which reality itself is projected. So if the universe operates holographically, then each part of it, including us, contains the whole within itself. Connecting the religious idea that we are all divine, made in the image of a greater whole, interconnected and interdependent, as seen in numerous mystical teachings from Eastern and Western traditions alike. So, this theory doesn't just reshape our understanding of physical reality. It offers a potential bridge between modern science and ancient spiritual wisdom, pointing toward a universe where everything is connected, where consciousness is central, and where what we perceive might just be a small glimpse of a grander, deeper truth. With the holographic theory and the idea of reality as a projection, we begin to approach a concept known in both science and spirituality, the absolute. In philosophical terms, the absolute refers to a unified reality, the source of all existence. It's a state or realm beyond duality, beyond the separation between the observer and the observed. In many spiritual traditions, the absolute is the ultimate truth the core from which everything else emanates. If the universe and consciousness are structured holographically, then this absolute might be the source code, the origin of all information, reality, and consciousness. If consciousness is not just an effect of brain activity, but rather downloaded from a universal source, this would imply that each individual consciousness is a localized expression of a much larger interconnected awareness. Just as a hologram contains the whole within each part, consciousness might exist as part of a larger collective mind, temporarily focused through individual human experience. And we tie this back to the CIA's gateway process document, where consciousness could be tapped, shared, and even expanded through techniques that alter perception, potentially allowing access to realms beyond ordinary awareness. If our minds are essentially channels for a much larger field of consciousness, 
than individual identity, our sense of self is not separate, but interwoven with this vast field. Everything we think, feel, and perceive is a small, specialized expression of an all-encompassing consciousness. Many who have experienced mystical or near-death experiences describe this as a sense of unity or merging with everything, suggesting that while our individual experiences are unique, our consciousness is ultimately linked to something much greater. And if the holographic theory holds true, the implications for humanity are profound. To sum it all up, it suggests that what we experience as reality may only be a fraction of a much more complex interconnected whole. Our thoughts, our experiences, and even our sense of individuality may all be expressions of this vast shared consciousness. And this changes how we might view life and death, individuality, and the purpose of existence itself. It reframes questions of meaning and invites us to reconsider that our lives are interconnected expressions of this absolute each of us a small, meaningful fragment in the tapestry of a larger, universal experience. By understanding and exploring this holographic nature of reality, we're not just glimpsing a scientific theory. We're stepping into a new way of perceiving existence itself, where we are all, in essence, different reflections of the same universal truth. Human influence out.